What's up everybody? I just got home from work and it's time to make some dinner. So first, right off the get-go, save myself some time and I put a pork roast into the crock pot. Notice the crock pot, old, old, old antique, still works great. So the pork roast is in there, ready to come out. It's gonna be wonderful. Now let's get the rest of the meal going. Okay, what else are we having with dinner tonight? We are having au gratin potatoes. I am making two. Why am I making two? That's way too much for two people. Why am I making two? If you watch me enough, you know it's because we like leftovers. We have lunch at home every day, so we'll eat leftovers, and this is something that I hardly ever make that I really like. So I'm gonna make a little extra, and we will have leftovers. Just like the Chinese food I ordered the other night, I ordered extra, we got three meals out of it, two more meals. So that's why we like to do that. Okay, so preheat up into 450. Oh, I just did 425. Hold on, let me fix that. Okay. Now we are going to put in two cups of water. So we're gonna do four cups of water. one half cup of milk, so that would be one cup of milk. and two tablespoons of butter. So we will just put half of this cube of butter in there. And we're gonna put that on the stove and let it start boiling. And then to go along with our potatoes and our pork roast, we are going to have fresh asparagus. So I try at all costs to not have canned or frozen vegetables. I do once in a while, especially corn. Now, some people will eat this part. We don't like it. I know that if you make like soup or something, it's good, but we don't care for it. It's really tough. So we just cut the, like about that much off of there. This is like a first cutting, so they're real thin. But I just boil these. Once they come to a boil, I boil them for about three to five minutes, strain them, and then we just eat them fresh like that. A lot of people like to roast them in the oven with some olive oil. That's good too.
into the oven it goes for 25 minutes. I will come back and show you when it's all done. Well, I accidentally put these on the stove and I left the water, I left the burner on from the scalloped potatoes. And so these started boiling, I could smell them. So I was like, oh my gosh, so I had to turn them off because you only want to boil these three to five minutes at the most or they'll just turn to mush. You still want them firm. So we're gonna go ahead and drain them and just leave them in the drainer here until we plate up our food. We like to dip it in just a little bit of mayonnaise. Um, some people like to, just like I said, put some olive oil and some garlic salt over them, whatever you prefer. But I did not want these to get so mushy that they just taste horrible. So I went ahead, turned them off, we drained them. They'll be fine there. They'll be a little bit on the warm side, but not hot when we eat them, and that's totally fine. So we're just waiting on the scalloped potatoes, and then we will plate up. All right, so our scalloped potatoes are out of the oven. Now, my kids like when I make homemade scalloped potatoes, and I like them too. They are 100% different than boxed ones, but I am not gonna peel and slice and dice and make my homemade cheese sauce that I make when I make my own. Uh, I'll do that on a weekend sometime. I usually do it for the holidays, but for now we're just having the um, boxed scalloped potatoes. All right, in here we have our pork roast. Now, if you watched my grocery haul, I had a pork roast. It was about this big in a like a sealed container, and it was pre-seasoned with like a garlic seasoning on it. Okay, so I just put that in the crock pot this morning, and so you can see it's just literally falling apart. It just falls apart now. And I put that in the crock pot before I went to work this morning um, with some orange juice and some water and some garlic cloves. That's all I put in there. And you see that it's just literally falling apart. So very easy. Your, your meat is just nice and tender and juicy and um, very flavorful. And so there is our pork roast. Here are our scalloped potatoes. And here is our asparagus. Now here's our plate. I guess I got a... <laughs> Green giant. I'm gonna turn this around just a little bit so that you can see me plate up here. Now my husband, um, he is in his hospital bed, so I put his in this bowl. It's easier for him to eat with the um, with the hot pad underneath it, and so it's just easier that way. It's not so big and bulky, but we both love asparagus. Like I think we eat asparagus at least once a week. That and broccoli. Okay, I give him a little bit more than me because. I fill up. All right, so here is our, going in for our pork roast now. And of course, Jenny's over here begging, frothing out the bit, you know. She wants some of that. Okay, now I usually have horseradish sauce and that's what we dip our pork roast in, but I don't have it today. So, um, we will survive without it, you know. But we'll put a little bit of this juice that came out of the crock pot on the top of our meat, so it's just a little moist. Okay. And then just a little bit of the, we don't eat a lot of the, um, the potatoes, but there we are. If it was up to me, I could eat all these potatoes, but no, no, no. So there we are. And we do take a little bit of mayonnaise. We like to take a little bit of mayonnaise and um, we dip our asparagus in it. 
just like you would your artichokes or something. So put that to the side there. And voila, dinner is served. Thanks you guys for coming along with me. I, I got home and made dinner. It was really not that long except for cooking the potatoes, but I did other things while that was cooking. So now we will go enjoy our dinner and you guys all have a great evening.